So for today's review, we've got the brand new for 2016 at home, 11 foot long carriage. Now this is not supposed to be in my possession. I ordered a different carriage from eBay. This is the one that the seller sent me. Not happy about that until I talked to Josh about it. And he said that this one was actually rarer than the one I was going to initially buy. So I've had a change of heart of kind of laying one on the seller. Um, <laughs> I mean, when you send me the wrong inflatable, that is 100% your, your own fault. If you're too lazy to realize that there's a difference between the one you put on eBay and the one that you have in your possession that you're going to send off to somebody that they spend a lot of money on, that is 100% on you. Uh, but anyway, this one did sell it at home back in 2016. You can see the sticker there. However, I do not know how much it sold for because seller ripped that off. Interesting. Uh -huh. It has two pull tabs. You can see at the back. I like inflatable two pull tabs. It gives them a little bit more of an exclusive vibe. You don't see that very often nowadays. Back of the box. I love the really dark green color scheme that they have going on. Almost like they're paying homage to the 2010-2011 Halloween boxes. I think it looks really good. The only thing I don't like about these boxes is that right there See how modern that one piece is It kind of reminds me of the uh, let me see. What was it the Walgreens? Uh, Christmas cheap fans that they used to have that were off-brand I remember they had a really like sleek the I remember the font was uh, super thin and they were okay But they were non Jimmy and that's kind of what this box art reminds me of a little bit But also you do have that really nice green coloring the box definitely does have some flaws some wear around the edges and corners as you can see not too bad hopefully the inflatable itself is good i'm gonna keep it if i like it if i don't like it i'm probably just gonna message the seller and tell them you know seriously give them some really bad feedback but hopefully i don't want to do that and i enjoy the inflatable and the seller gets off easy so let's go ahead and open it up just love it all right so you can see the inflatable is in the box based off the size of it i would assume yf 125 the fact that it's a carriage it's got to inflate well with a uh, a good motor so i'll take it out test it and i will be right back to inflate it A very interesting inflatable indeed. A purchase I will not forget in the near future. It looks like fall in my living room right now, or I don't even know what this, we call it the conservatory, but it's sometimes our living room. You see the leaves that the seller shipped it with. That's awesome, thank you so much for that by the way. I cannot wait to start my leaf pile early. Now the carriage has four C7s located just in this area. So you have one, two, three, Four. One of them was burned out because I turned off the lights and I only saw three, but I looked inside. I'll put an image on the screen for you right now. You can obviously tell that there are four supposed to be illuminated. One of them was burned out. I'll just have to replace that one uh, before I set it up in the display. I do not understand why they do not put a C7 in the torches. I, it makes no sense to me. It's literally a flame and you do not have it il illuminated. I, I don't get it. Like, why it makes zero sense the reaper looks amazing like i love the glowing red eyes the teeth that looks fantastic love it the horse the horse's eyes actually are super cool they have this very simple uh i guess emblem or symbol that they have for the eyes i think it looks great they didn't overdo it at all it's perfect i love how the horse is standing up that's what sets this carriage apart i, I don't know about most of them i'm trying to think of the percentages of how many carriages where the horse is standing up as opposed to just standing normally like that. So that is really cool about this inflatable is to get the horse pretty much in motion with the front legs here. That looks incredible, I love that. Now one of the straps unfortunately did break off. You can see here, no longer attached to the Reaper's left hand. The carriage has four tether attachments, one there, 
one here and then same place other side same place other side there it inflates very tight yf 125 is doing a great job as we move to the back you can definitely see the wear and the dirt marks the good part is that the most noticeable wear is located at the back where you'll never see it from the road. People who are passing by, they are not going to notice anywhere on this particular one that I have, which is, I'm looking forward to that. Now there are three zippers, first of which located here. That's what I use to check out the C7s inside the carriage there. One behind the Reaper. There is actually a C7 supposed to be lit in the Reaper right now that is unfortunately burned out. And then obviously you have your third and final zipper located right next to the YF-125. Now I don't know if there are any lights in the horse itself. I would assume there are, um, but I actually do not want the horse illuminated by C7 lighting. I want a blinking spotlight put on it because my idea is that I'll have this part of the carriage illuminated by the C7s and then that, I think I will replace the bulb in this one because I, I want that lit up by uh, normal lighting. But then for the horse itself, because what I want is that it'll be kind of like on a bank, like my mulch bank, and then the horse will be propped up on it a little bit. And then what I want is that I have like a spotlight down here that'll blink onto it. It'll look so cool. Very excited for that. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about is that there are actually some tether attachments at the bottom that kind of forgot about. You have one for each of the hooves. One there, one there. You have your base fan, so no tether attachments on these wheels here, that wheel, and then the one over there. But there are over on here, you can see there, and then another one on the other side. So it will be staked very, very well. But I am a little worried though that it does not have any tether attachments to where it, I mean, in the wind, it's, it's not going to do well in the wind, like period. It'll do okay, I don't think it will be terrible, but it is its own separate inflatable. You have the carriage and then you have the horse. So it deserves to be treated like one and it deserves to have a tether attachment, two tether attachments and tethers to stake it down, but it does not. It only has two tether loops at the bottom for the hooves. Those will be staked, no doubt. I hope the best for that horse. Uh, the detailing on the carriage looks great. It's phenomenal. I love the graphics that Jimmy has going for these carriages. It's, it's unmatched. I mean, it, it looks so, so good. I really wish they would do one for Christmas. I don't understand why we haven't gotten a colossal Christmas carriage yet. I feel like it's a no-brainer. Maybe because Halloween is dominated. I mean, we have dragons for Halloween and then that came over to Christmas, so I don't get why carriages can't do the exact same thing. Yeah, that's that's all I have to say about this unforgettable uh, review and purchase on the 11 foot long 2016 at-home carriage. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, bye.